Okay, this tutorial you're gonna see is a bit strange. Uh, I've been like two days trying to figure out how to how to do the armor, and I have to confess you that I don't have any idea to paint it with uh, true metal, true real metal. Uh, I'm a bit more of a non-metallic metal that we do in fantasy painting, and uh, the metallic paint. It have given me a lot of problems that I solve in, in further stages. Uh, this video is divided into two parts. Uh, this one is uh, all the, the, the problems I've took to, to get to the tutorial. And you will see that uh, a mix between uh, non-metallic metal and, and real metal. Really, really simple to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'm going to swim. Bye. First thing is a sketch. I place the light. It's light on both sides, up and the middle part. Here in the side of the armor. And now I'm placing the max lights. Create some lines. Now here I get a very diluted uh, metallic paint. I'm trying to unify those uh, very thick lines give a metallic looking. Here I am painting some reflections and now I will notice that uh, giving glazes uh, with, with metal paint beneath is really complicated because it's a bit slippery so the, the paint did not uh, get still, not uh, sticks well to the figure. Okay, here I am mean, trying to do it but the, here's the result very very ugly. I leave it and then let's move to the next day. Okay look at this shine. Here's the one what I wanna do with the with the armor. It's like an aerograph uh, sprite. You can see here all the reflections it has like three or four reflections the sky, the, the proper armor and the, the arms and now I'm going to explain a bit how to do it okay uh, you can see here the armor by the side here's uh, the light and it's totally uniform it's like a, giving a, a with the eye graph, eye brush giving a thin layer, thin line with all that tiny tiny dots okay there's a shadow there's light there's again shadow he noticed that uh, by brush normal brush it was very 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 difficult to achieve this result this very clean result uh, it's uh, well, you can do it with uh, more more time with layers and layers glazes layers but uh, the eye brush technique it was very uh, a lot of uh, you can you can save a lot of time okay here brush you can do it by brush so the option here was by eye brush okay uh, now uh, the, the idea is to do a non-metallic metal like we saw in previous stages and um, have the the brush to to give thin layer of metallic paint to unify and to match these two techniques if you see old armors, you can see that they are uh, or shiny or very old, uh, like a glass, or has a bit of uh, scratches here and there. I don't know the exact uh, history and terminology to, to know uh, what's the, the looking of the armor, but I have to, with my, with my figure, I wanted to, to, to give a very old, a bit old looking. We have to remember to give reflections the armor and paint that thin lines uh, with, with the eyebrush will help us.
Okay, we get the airbrush, we prime first in black, and we slowly give some little uh, strokes with, uh, with grey, highlights with active white, here's the, the um, effect of photography, like we have two, two uh, light sources, here's uh, another one, side, and the front other. Now we are going to place it in the shadows, here and there. This is like normal, non-metallic metal, uh, in a fantasy figure, it would be nearly correct. There's some scratches here and there, some reflections, but this is uh, the way I, I love it. But I want to, to give a metal looking. Now we, we get the scale mm, color uh, named White Alchemy. It has a really thin and very little pigment, metallic pigment, and we give a mm, very water layer to the armor. Uh, you will see the result is very, mm, <laughs> very beautiful. You, you, you but mm, because yeah, with the with the airbrush, we are doing the all the work. All the, the very heavy work, and with this transparent layer, we are allowing we are allowing the, mm, the viewer to see all that work. Now imagine this only with brush. It would be very very difficult for me. It's uh, really easy, and you've seen that only uh, mixing two techniques, two simple techniques that you show sure you you know. Okay. Now we do normal painting, edge shadows, edge with this is with black, and then edge edge is light with a bit of a metal color with white, metal previous metal color, it's white alchemy, it's a bit of white. And here's the result. Here's the result. And now I'm trying to 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 do some uh, scratches and give a bit of oldness to the armor. I don't know if that word is sixth, but... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing this with, with black. Little points here and there. I'm, I was very pleased with this, with this result. I, I like it a lot, uh, but <laughs> I wanted more. I wanted more and, and I'm... I'm I give more and more scratches, you will see now. The thing is uh, that I passed a bit the line of giving uh, damage to the armor. I think that normal uh, Roman armor first doesn't have that shiny color looking in the scratches, mm, neither that blue light. But man, I nearly had it. Airbrush ready to give more. Blah, blah, blah. With black, I try to hide those uh, tiny, tiny scratches that I didn't like. That uh, blue reflection, diluted, diluted black. Here with only, only black. Now I play some white, gray light, and here. We do the same with the the color, the metal color, very very diluted. We place a thin, a very thin layer for for the shadows and the lights. We we did with the airbrush, it uh, transparents, and this is the result. Now we paint the shadows and light edges, and here you can see it's very very clean. But I don't want this uh, looking armor, this is very very clean. I want a very old Roman 
through battles. You will see later. Here I'm point I'm painting the the gold parts. Take the Vallejo, a new airbrush set of uh, gold, and paint it normally. Now with uh, an ink, Andrea ink, we place the shadows. Brown, brown ink. We place the shadows like a half moon in the bottom side of the, of the parts or the metal parts, and we give different intensities to the shadows depending in which part of the of the skirt is. If it has if, if it has more shadows or more lights. Okay. We always leave. Um, gold edge in the upper part of the bottom and here you have the result okay here is very clean with no scratches okay but I wanted to, to give a very a bit of old looking now I'm with a very diluted black I'm pointing a bit the armor giving the, those uh, battle damage and with white, with white and metal, and it gives shiny, shiny touches. Here's the result, final result. Man, that was <laughs> really a tough work to do. Two days working to, to achieve this result. Hope you enjoyed. I, I really, really learned a lot. Um, try it at home and let me know what you think. Okay, it's been a pleasure to show you this and stay tuned for next videos. Bye.